The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. In celebration of World Turtle Day 2016, we asked our staff to highlight several colonian species which deserve more attention or are more endangered than many of us think they are. Here are their thoughts. So I chose Sicanorbis elegans because it has not been observed in the wild for the past 25 years and uh, we lack data about its population to an extent where we don't know if the species is actually extinct in the wild or not. Um, it could be and it could not be, we don't know. Um, also the last uh, captive specimen died in 2009 and it's the one that you can see the picture of right now. A species that I hope gets more attention as we go forward is the flatback sea turtle. They're the lesser known species of sea turtle out of the seven species that roam our oceans. And although their range is so much smaller and they're endemic to Australia, I think that's why they need more protection. They're more vulnerable because of their limited range. They are being poached for their eggs and for their meat. And while most sea turtles lay anywhere from 100 to 200 eggs per clutch, the flatback only lays 50 per clutch. So I hope that as we go forward and educate more people, more people will learn about this beautiful species, the flatback sea turtle. The species that I would like to talk about actually isn't a species, it's an entire genus. Uh, the genus Maremis is a group of turtles, um, Asian and European uh, pond turtles, um, that are really not very well known. There hasn't been a ton of research done on them. They're very, very unpopular in the trade, perhaps due to their coloration, which is considered to be rather drab in appearance. Um, I think that they're awesome. I think they're awesome looking. I think their behavior is, is terrific. And I think that there's a, a large amount of variation from species to species within the genus. And I think that there's a lot to learn through working with them. So I chose the marginated tortoise, Testudo marginata, as a species that really should get some more focus and attention. Um, everybody is usually really concerned only with, with the really vibrant and colorful species when um, they're missing out on species like these guys. Um, the biggest problem with them is they're not often raised right in captivity, so they appear deformed. They get a weird lighter color that really isn't uh, natural. Um, this is what's natural. These tortoises are supposed to be black, and I mean, that's just, in my opinion, awesome. I chose the Forestons tortoise because I think that they are highly ignored in the hobby. These days, most people are concerned with the high yellow and the stunner animals, but they ignore the fact that the Forestons tortoise, which is native to only two small localities in the island of Sulawesi, is, also, is critically endangered. I think they are extremely beautiful tortoise, and they are in need of much more attention than they are currently getting. And since I already broke the rules, why not go a step further and just add another genus to the mix? Uh, the genus Conixus, the hingeback tortoises of Africa. They are from areas of the world where um, tortoise conservation is not necessarily an important thing to local people at this time. There are bigger things going on. In addition to that, as far as the trade goes, um, they are still um, rather heavily imported and they need um, humid environments which are tough to replicate in captivity, especially with the way that most people keep their, their tortoises um, that they're buying at local pet stores and things like that. So um, an important genus to think about. Terrapine quahila, the quahilan box turtle, is often overlooked. Also known as the aquatic box turtle, there are estimated to be only 2,000 specimens remaining in the wild, so they need our help. Despite the challenges provided by the ESA, this species is hardy and adapts well to captivity. So one way we can help this species survive is by being willing to share our offspring with other breeders at no cost. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have an excellent World Turtle Day. Happy World Turtle Day. For more information on this and other exciting colonial species, visit theturtleroom.com.